Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Public Coin, and I'm just throwing stuff around here. Try to get you ready. I'm making a video today. Uh, we're doing a, a crossover video, and so I've got all these like old labels and stuff. I gotta get ready. While I'm getting ready, I just want to mention, you know, we do have uh, something that is known as memberships here that you can go ahead and join us uh, for some fun. If you are learning from this channel, you can uh, help support the channel, help support the word about uh, coin collecting and some educational material and it gets out to the people of the great United States of America and across the uh, galaxy. So consider that. There's links available down in the video show note area. And, 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 and. So I had fun with these. Uh, I just sent in a bunch of coins for, for crossover. I had a customer who wanted to send in uh, a coin for crossover. It was actually this 030 Morgan. And so we sent him to PCGS. Now, NGC does not take crossover from anyone but PCGS, which is kind of obnoxious to me because, you know, in generally PCGS, in my opinion, has a little bit more of the highfalutin attitude. But uh, NGC, in this case, uh, the fact that they won't cross over Annex uh, or other grading companies kind of plays into the hands of PCGS as saying, hey, this is the only company that's worth going to, right? So anyway, I will get away from that subject for now. But this 030, 030 used to be considered the rarest Morgan dollar, even though it had such a high production rate. Uh, really great looking coin. It does have a bigger hit uh, on the cheek and in the field. But the rest of the coin is really stunning. The reverse is very, very nice. And uh, PCGS crossed it over, of course, this uh, 63 to 63. But uh, I'm actually, did I tell you I'm excited about this video? I should tell you, I'm pretty excited about this video because crossover is kind of fun. People ask me all the time about it and I don't do it very frequently. And, you know, I tell people that you can find nice coins in ICG holders, but, you know, you really got to hunt and peck because they're not all created equally. And also, I think in very general terms, PCGS, I, I still think that there's just enough human nature involved where I don't think that they see the labels blind, right? There'd be one thing if the labels were covered and they looked at the coin and they just put a grade on it. I, but I don't think that's how they do it. So this this uh, 830 was uh, an MS64 ICG and of course PCGS did cross it over and uh, kind of a cool coin really. Uh, bright and lustrous. You know, I was hoping for an upgrade, but uh, we've never got an upgrade. I have people ask me about getting coins upgraded through the grading pro through the crossover process, and you know, my answer is, well, I've never had a coin upgraded through the grading process. Next up is another 840. This one was at 63. I just decided to send in, even though 63s aren't expensive. You know, I was kind of trying to get an upgrade here because I thought, well, you know, 63 to 64. They're not sticking their necks out, right? It's just a nice coin. They can go ahead and upgrade that coin. I mean, clearly that coin's stunning. Well, you could just call it a 64, you know, but it did cross over, 63 to 63. Next up, I've got this uh, 07 $10 piece, which uh, you may or may not recognize the holder if you're studious. I'm not trying to trick you here. If you're studious, this coin is still in an ICG holder. ICG 63 did not cross. Now, I'm I'm laughing only because I just happened to have recently got back this coin from PCGS. And this came back MS64. And I would, if these two coins were just raw and in front of me, I would take this 07 over that 1893 just any day of the week. The coin has uh, fewer contact marks, nicer, nicer luster, uh, a little bit more of an original color. The color gets funky on gold because whenever I get close, it kind of messes with the, the color. The color gets distorted. But I think if I cover these both up, both the grades and just showed you the coins and you can tell even from here 
Just look at look at the fields on this coin and the contact marks. The reverses are probably comparable on both these coins. The reverse on this is pretty nice. We're just going to go ahead and take a look at this one here. And there's just a whole lot of uh, scuff a doodle doo on the front of this coin that is not on the 07. There's also some more scuffiness behind the head. So I was really pretty intrigued, and it was perfect timing to get both these coins back in a, in a similar time frame so I could compare them because, uh, you know, this coin's uh, a 63 all day, all day long. So, yeah, there's that. Finally, I had this kind of fun old soapbox annex, which I, one of the things I was intrigued by was the fact that, you know, they really, they cut the head off this thing. I, think it, I want to be there. I want to be in the room where it happened. I want to see him cut it off. 84 Philly. Now, some of these Philly mints are kind of hard to, to get in nicer grade. And uh, this coin had really great eye appeal to it. I really liked it. And uh, a little bit on the contact mark, but really original, original fields. Uh, very nice coin overall. And uh, the cheek is super sweet. I mean, that's just a nice, nice cheek. The cheek may make up for... See, there's some, some, some marks and chatter here in front of the field, but the cheek is just so clean. I mean, that's really what you want your cheeks to look like. But, you know, well, insert razor commercial here, right? But uh, really nice coin. Oh, hey now. So this answers the age-old question that I've had a lot of people ask over the last two years. Can you send in a coin for crossover and have it upgrade? And the answer is yes. Yes, they upgraded this coin from a four to a five. So it's good to know that it does happen. Overall, the, you know, the box is very successful, minus the one $10 gold piece that they missed on. But you know, what, what, what are you going to do? I say they missed on. I'm just, right now, I'm just like adding salt to the wounds. Some of you guys hate when I do that, but I'm feeling snarky this morning. So this coin actually goes from about a $100 coin to a, almost a $300 coin, like a $250 coin. So that's a nice little upgrade. So guys, leave your comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.